Pessoal, tudo bem? Eu estou aqui mais uma vez no Fashion Week de Toronto para o Spring 16, né? a primavera de 2016, trazendo as novidades para você pela RBTI Brasil TV Channel. Hi guys, I'm here with uh, Brenda Finanza with the couple who is behind the brand. How are you guys today? Great, Very thank good. you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> nice. Okay, so he speaks French, so I'm going to talk to Emily, right? Could you take up, tell me about a little bit of your brand? Uh, mainly it's the, uh, the lifestyle of a modern gentleman. So you have what a gentleman would wear from Monday to Sunday in all his daily activities from work to night, you know, evening, to uh, boating, golf. I know it's the highlighting for men, for like a business yeah. men's wear, right? So what do you expect after this MasterCard Fashion Week for your brand? Well, hopefully we're gonna get known as a gentleman wear, so, and as an everyday also gentleman wear. So we also have sports wear. So people can come. It's a really private service. It's a, a, a personal service. So we actually go to the the man's office or uh, at home. So it's a really personal, uh, you know, service that we bring. It's all actually handmade. And there's a lot of um, work, you know, beneath our uh, our suits. So it's all well, beneath, behind our <laughs> suits. <laughs> and how you guys have the inspiration to do this collection for Spring 16? Uh, it's uh, from the nature. You see that there's like there's a lot of uh, natural fabric, uh, lots of color. We want to bring color back to men. You know, we want them to be proud to wear colors. So uh, and it has to be comfortable. So it's good looking, comfortable, and colorful. Britain. What can the customer you expect the men use your brand? What type of customer? Yes. Um, hopefully every single man on the planet should wear Final Finanza. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of businessmen, uh, obviously, because uh, they like their style, they need to be well dressed, and they don't have time to go shopping. So they like us to come to their home and their office to do all their, sh their uh, shopping. So uh, mainly it's like proud men who like to be well dressed and are proud to present you know, themselves and, and to show, uh, like to be different, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, obviously. So they need to be proud of wearing gentlemen <laughs> looking like. Great, thank you so much, you guys. I love actually the runway was amazing. Thank you so much and congrats. Pessoal, eu estou aqui com a Stefania, ela que é representante, ela que veste a marca Maybelline aqui. Já é o segundo ano que eu estou com ela e somos duas latinas, uma brasileira e uma hispana. Então, me fala como que é representar esse, essa marca tão famosa e trabalhar para eles aqui em Toronto, já que somos latinas? Bueno, para mí es un placer, primero que todo, poder representar la marca de Maybelline en Canadá y ser latina, ¿por qué no? Y para mí es un placer, la verdad, siempre la paso muy divertido aquí en el Fashion Week. Eh, tenemos máscaras, tenemos diferentes cosas haciendo en el environment y para mí es, un, la verdad, una bendición para estar aquí. Gente, fueron ellos que hicieron toda mi make-up para hoy. Estefania, gracias por siempre estar aquí y yo adoro sempre estar tá com você, sua companhia e esse calor que a gente tem de ser latina. Manda um beijo pro Brasil. Bom, bueno, primeiro que tudo, eu, eu gosto muito do Brasil. Eu preciso falar mais Brasi, uh, português, mas você vai ensinar para mim, hein? Sim, eu vou. E eh, eu quero mandar um saludo a toda a gente brasileira que nos está vendo por meio desse canal e um beijo de Stefania Serna. Sean Riley, he's the stylist for the most beautiful celebrities in Toronto, and I'm gonna talk to him and see what is the news from this fashion week. Hi, Aishan, tell me about a little bit about your stories and the, all the celebrities you're doing for the stylist for this fashion week. Well, I think it's pretty amazing. I mean, the celebrities that came down for us to style, I think just just the collection of clothes and the options that we had, I think it was it's so amazing. And right 
right now I'm so excited it's fashion week in Toronto we have a lot of beautiful people here that we're styling the celebrities they're amazing and all the designers I'm having such a great great time here that's nice and I, I know that you are doing a lot of jobs around you know and you did like a lot of celebrities already right, right, right. what what are your you're thinking for doing your business for this year? Do you think in those uh, stylish in other countries or see a lot of celebrities around? Yeah, you know what? I would love to actually do styling all around the world, working with different celebrities, different designers. And I think when you travel, it's always, it's a good experience to travel because you see so many different things all around the world, different cultures, and you get inspired from different cultures, different countries when you travel. It's amazing. That's good. Thank you so much. The gorgeous actress from CBC, Muna, and she's gonna tell us a little bit of the fashion week and what she are doing for enjoy this fashion week. How are, how are you today? I'm really great. I'm really excited to see these shows tonight. Yeah, so what do you expect for this special week for this season? I think for the show that we're going to see now, Hillary McMillan, I think it's going to be a lot of big, bold colors. I'm hoping. I love her stuff. I actually wore a bunch of her dresses for the Toronto International Film Festival, and I'm really excited to see what she has. Okay, tell me a little bit about your story for as you are actress for CBAC. Um, yeah, I'm working on a television show right now called Murdoch Mysteries on CBC. It's their biggest show. And I play a character named Rebecca James. I'm very new to the show and if you guys watch, you'll see how my character develops and goes from being a cleaner to being something with a little bit more esteem. Nice. So say hello Brazil, I love you. Hello Brazil, I love you. Brazil, eu te amo. Brazil, eu te amo. Eu te amo. Yeah. Brazil, eu te amo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So here is I'm with Nick behind is the woman behind the brand the nurses and I would like to know how your inspiration to do so beautiful dresses for us you know the inspiration is always you know having a feminine collection that's um, you know we do a lot of shears we do a lot of texture we do a lot of glamour you know having that glamour on your dresses you know something that you put on and you actually love you know that's what we go for every single collection what do you, you expect for after this uh, Mastercard Fashion Week for this season? For this, you mean for the season coming up after this? Yes. For that season, I mean, I, I do think that we'll still have all of our elements that we have, you know, our sheer, you know, our, you'll see in this dress that there is clear and it's, you know, and the lace is applied on top of it. You'll still have those elements, but every season there's something that makes a difference. So this collection, we had a feel of 70s within our collection that you saw with the sleeves and you saw with the florals. And metallics. And stuff. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So. And the, what kind of woman, you know, it's like a narcissist, which, which one choose like, because sometimes like you think is the woman to a dream to use your dresses for? Who is the narcissist woman you're asking about? Um, for me, I just would like to feel that she's someone who's going to try different things and, you know, put something on and feel confident in it and really own that look. Um, I, don't, I don't have this look in my head that this is how they look because I get surprised. We have a lot of custom orders that we make and, you know, it's different, different women, different, different age groups, different lifestyles. So for me, it's beautiful to see. Nice. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Okay, here I am. So I stop a lot of people seeing around Fashion Week today. So when I stop with the gorgeous Sophie, so what is your style? What are you inspiring yourself when you dress up? So tell me, because everybody was stopping you and asking for your style. Well, I love to wear a Canadian brand because I think it's really important to support the brand that we have out here. 
but I love to make a statement. So I've been doing a lot of origami. So I just like went up to my girlfriend that works at the Loft Toronto, and I always show up there with a bunch of different things to put on my hair, and that's what we came up with. I'm here with Sergio, he's is the best of the bloggers here in Toronto and he does a lot of things with celebrities. So Sergio, tell me about your where your job and tell me about like all the shows you are uh, seeing and watching. Yeah, so I started my fashion blog about a year ago. Actually a year ago today I did. Yeah, so it's just it falls perfectly. Yeah, um, in regards to shows, I really love Pink Tartan today. Day one, Michael Kale was my ultimate pick, and the show I'm most looking forward to is Michael D and Three Paradis for Friday. Yeah. Go oh, awesome! And the, also, like, how do you choose? Uh, how do you spare yourself when you have to choose some, pick some look, you know, to come for fashion week? Because I saw you're very stylish. Oh, okay. Well, I usually. Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but I usually go for like I'll go into a store and I'll be like I'll look for like the boldest item and be like, can I pull it off? And I'll be like, yes, of course you can. So I always like gravitate towards that for Fashion Week, like uh, dressing myself uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. I usually go for more of like a simple look, like ripped black jeans with a black shirt. But for Fashion Week, I obviously play it up a little bit more. Yeah. So what do you tell about the person never, never came, never see, never have a chance to come to Fashion Week? So what, what do you tell to them? Uh, usually wear. Um, to don't go wrong, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I actually did a blog post on a Fashion Week Survival Guide, so it just gives you all the details of what you need to know. Uh, if you're coming to Fashion Week for the first time, it's actually my most recent post. And I would, if it's your first time, I would keep it simple, not, not too crazy. And then once you start getting used to it and get a feel of the vibe, I would go a little bit more bold and not, not overdo it your first time. Just come simple. That's what I would say. Thank you so much, Sergio. It was a pleasure. Thank you. with the glamorous Larissa. She's amazing, gorgeous women here from Toronto. I'm gonna talk to her for a little bit. Hi Larissa, Thank, how are you today? I'm very great, how are you doing? I'm good. So tell me about like you, how you're inspiring yourself when you dress up yourself. Well, the inspiration comes from our uh, local Canadian designers, which are uh, fabulous. And since we're in Canada, we do love our furs. Uh, so we're looking at to, uh, we, uh, we just uh, were at our Pink Tartan uh, collections, which are incredible. Yeah, how do you think is the fashion week for this, for this season? It is incredible. We can't wait for the spring season to come. <laughs> nice, Larissa. Thank you so much. Girl, Ansley, how are you today, Ansley? I'm doing very well, thank you. So tell me about a little bit about this fashion week for you. I mean, this fashion week is amazing. I mean, we've really come so far in our fashion week. We've really come so far. I mean, you can notice the changes in the past 10 years. I mean, with the sponsors, with the designers, with the talent, it's amazing. So how do you, you inspire yourself to your look when you just have to pick some clothes? How do I inspire my look? You know what, I'm inspired day to day. So I'm inspired by my travels, I like to travel a lot. But I'm also inspired by the designers that are showing, right? So I look at the looks that are showing on the runway and that will inspire me for what I'm wearing tomorrow or maybe three months from now. What is fashion for you? Fashion is play. Good. With the with the brandy tatak swag, 
and it was a, the amazing collection and I'm going to talk to him about it. So I was very impressed thank about you. your collection thank today you, you. and the, I'm, tell me a little bit about your brand and stuff, the collection for this Spring 16. No problem. Uh, Tatsuki actually is my, my name, actually is a Japanese brand and uh, basically I, uh, I mostly concentrate on contemporary dresses and this time as you can see all contemporary dresses but there's two sections. One is funky dress session and the other one is uh, contemporary evening dress uh, session. So um, for 2016 in spring and summer this is Tokyo fun. So I try to bring back the whole Tokyo uh, to Toronto. So as you can see right I have Leon colors, I have high colors, uh, you know uh, 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 all these uh, crazy colors from uh, and prints from uh, Japan and from Tokyo for, to represent the ultra modern side of Tokyo. And then I have the more toned down evening dress on the second session is is represent the tradition uh, or traditional culture of Tokyo and Japan. What do we expect after the fashion week for your brand? Um, basically, I got a few buyers here from uh, Canada, you know, all over the place. And I just need, did finish New York and I'll come here to Toronto. And because I'm a Canadian designer, so I represent Canada too. And so I want to help Canada as much as I can. And I just want to come back here to do the show. So, and, but I would do other lo locations, you know, like Tokyo, New York, and I'm planning to do uh, London as well. Uh, but um, for here, for Canada, Canada always have a unique market. Um, I got my eyes here and hopefully, you know, the, all the department store, you know, uh, the big one, I don't want to mention the name, but they, they all are here, I know that, so uh, hopefully they keep continue ordering my stuff. So. so I was very curious about it, the bears, the, like you made like a kind of a flowers, how, how you inspire yourself to do that in the show? Well, basically, I want everybody have, you know, like I said, right, when you see it, um, when my first design, my first dress come out, it's kind of serious and moody, everyone like, like it's very feminine, yeah, having fun, you know, like, like glamorous, but suddenly it's, it's spring and summer, right, it's, it has to be fun and colorful, so then you, I start the funky dress well, so you can see all that, and then I have the little toys, you know, from Japan or from Canada, so that I want to give out the flowers to the people that remind them spring and summer in Tokyo, uh, in Toronto, it's beautiful in Canada, so we can, we should have more color and more fun, so just like Tokyo. Nice, thank you so much. No, yeah, you. let's be colorful, guys.